it's the most satisfied wife. As you can see, I'm making a salad. Look, uh, y'all got to know how to prepare. Y'all got to know how to prepare. You see that? That's a nice little salmon right there. I like to have my stuff ready because I want to hear to share with you because, you know, many of you who satisfied wife journey, uh, you'll see a lot of my videos. And sometimes it, it baffles me. Sometimes people just take my videos and um, they get a misunderstanding of my videos, right? So I did a video recently called, Why Are You Divorcing Your Spouse? Let's Stop Lying Church, right? That's on my YouTube page. You can check that out later, right? And so a comment came into um, the um, on my page and it said, um, what about when he is a serial cheater? Bringing women to the house. You're going to bring women to my house? Okay. Verbally, psychologically, and mentally abusing you. Or spending months. Or after spending months. If not years. Fasting and praying. So she listened to my video. And she gathered. It's almost as if she, as if she gathered the idea that I'm saying you should stay with that. Right? Right? I hope you didn't get that understanding because that's a misunderstanding of that video. Now, she says, what about when he is a serial cheater? <laughs> okay, you got a husband that keeps on cheating on you, right? Not only is he cheating on you, he's verbally, psychologically, and mentally abusing you. Somebody say, that's crazy, right? Right? Somebody said that's crazy in the comments. That's crazy, right? Or after spending months, if not years, in fasting and prayer. So this guy, he cheat with one person. He cheat with another woman. He cheat with another. And then the women, he bring the women to your house. And on top of that, he's dogging you. He's calling you out your name, right? And you are a woman of God. And he, I don't know what he thinks he is. So-called a man of God. I don't know. But that, that doesn't sound like one, right? To, let's just all admit, that's not a man of God, right? So if a man is cussing you out, abusing you, cheating on you or whatever, I just need you to know, that's not a man of God. Now, clearly this woman must identify as a woman of God because she said, I'm fasting in prayer. One second. My cornbread is in the oven now. I'm, I'm cooking. Look at, look at my crock pot, y'all. I'm cooking some. Black eyed peas, that's right, with some uh, turkey legs. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. And I got to check my cornbread. It's not ready. Look at that. It's not ready. So I got to put some more time on that. Let's put about three more minutes. Can't burn my uh, cornbread while I'm trying to uh, talk to y'all. Okay. So this guy is cheating on you. Let me tell you what type of man you got. Okay. So there, again, I talked about this on a, a video previous. Right? So you got a guy who constantly cheating on you. And you've been fasting and praying, right? For years, you've been fasting and praying. So he hasn't listened to you. And he hasn't listened to God. God has already spoken. I, I need you to know, God has already spoken on the matter. Now, the baton is in your hand. What are you going to do about this situation? God's not about to come down here and do nothing else. He's already given us answers and solutions in his word. So now, because you have an out, because when someone cheats, as a woman of God, you, you have an out, right? And he's a serial, a, a serial cheater, right? Is, that's what you said. So now the question is, is what are you going to do? He's proven to you. This is what I want to do. Do you know that every human being has the right to do whatever they want to do? Whether it's right or wrong, who cares? They don't care. They have a right. God gave us each a will. Now, when that person will to continue to cheat on you, will to verbally and mentally abuse you, now the baton is in your hand. And now what are you going to do? Are you going to stay in that situation? Because here's the thing. If you decide to stay, that's up to you. But I just want you to know, and this is for this woman, I'm sure it has already happened. He's broken your spirit. He's destroyed your confidence and self-esteem. You're spending nights crying. You have stress in your body. He probably has given you diseases. What are you going to do now? 
Because that's not love. That is not love. And the reason why he keeps doing it, because you have, you have clearly sent a message that I'm not leaving. You can keep on cheating on me. You can keep on verbally abusing me. And I'm not going nowhere. If a man is cheating on you, you cannot remain the same. You can't. You see this foot right here? You got to put the foot down respectfully. You ain't got to cuss him out. You ain't got to go off. You don't have to do none of that. But you have to make a move to show him that I value myself so much that I'm going to allow you to live the life that you want to live, but it's going to be without me. Because that I don't accept. You have to put boundaries up. You have to have your deal breakers set before you even get into a relationship. You cheat on me. Listen, you constantly cheating on me. I'm not doing this with you. Either I'm going to leave or you're going to leave. And if you are a wife who your husband has cheated one time, right? He's cheated one time. Maybe he made an accident or whatever. You can decide, okay, I'm going to forgive you, but we got to go through some counseling to restore the relationship. I'm going to check this, huh? I'm gonna, could I go over here and check it? I, I, I'll check it. You know, I'll check it. My, my cornbread, y'all, it's, it's, it's gone. Okay, still a little light. Let me give it about uh, two more minutes. All right, so you can make the decision if your husband is a one-time offender, if your wife is a one-time offender, you can decide to forgive him. But I would advise you to get counseling to restore the relationship, right? And if they're unwilling to go to counseling, unwilling to admit that they're wrong, then they, they subject to do it again. But we're not talking about a one-time hitter here. We're talking about a serial cheater. Y'all going to stop putting this on God. You have a decision to make. This guy has already told you what he's going to do. He's already told you. I just want everybody in the comments to tell me, what has this husband said to this wife? Just in case she sees this video or any other woman who's dealing with a husband that has a serious... Because listen, I think sometimes, I really think sometimes in the church, we, I think we get the Bible wrong. We, we lose it. We don't... Our common sense leaves. And, and just basic common sense here. This husband has sent you a message. Out, listen, I'm not going to say it. I want y'all to say it. What message has this husband sent to this wife? What is he saying to her? Is he saying that he love her? <laughs> is he saying, baby, I'm going to fight for this marriage? <laughs> is he saying that I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a faithful man? I'm a man of God? What is he saying? And you can't make him be anything else that he doesn't want to be. You can't. You have to allow people to be exactly what they want to be, even if it's not something you want. And whatever decision they make, then you have to make your decision from that. Listen, y'all don't misunderstand my videos. I had a video that went viral. It's got over 3.5 million hits. It's a one-minute video trying to inspire married couples to have sex. People talking about, oh, she talking about slavery. She talking about abuse. Would y'all cut it out? I mean, seriously. You actually think me, I'm talking about uh, it's okay for your husband to abuse you, to sexually abuse you. I mean, seriously, get, stop taking some videos and just running, a, just running all over the world with these ideas and thoughts. Listen to what the video is saying and go from there. Look at, look at that cornbread right there. Look at it. But you know what? I'm wiggling it and it's still got a little movement, right? Look at there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I got to give it a couple more minutes. It's a different type of cornbread because I have... Uh, I put some cream style corn in it, so it needs a little more time. All right, y'all, listen. I just want you to uh, pray for every woman that is experiencing this issue. And if you're a woman that's uh, dealing with troubles in your marriage, whether it's cheating, whether it's, you know, your husband's not spending time with you, you're on the verge of divorce, whatever that is, you need help. You need to join the, our community, the Satisfied Wife Club. Go to www.Satisfied Wife Club. I've created a community of wives and future wives that are discovering the secret sauce to creating and maintaining satisfaction. Because the only kind of wife to be is a satisfied wife. The only kind of future wife you want to be, single woman, is a satisfied wife. And here's the thing. Many of us are going into these marriages without the wisdom and the knowledge and the principles and the tools. And so we get into marriage and now we want to run out. I was the same way. I came in just as dumb as a doorknob 
And guess what? I blamed my husband for everything. And I found out quickly it was because of my lack of knowledge. Listen, yeah, he had his faults, but I also had mine. But of course, I wanted to blame it all on him. We have to take accountability. Ladies, we have power, we have authority, and we have influence to create whatever we want. But you got to discover how to use your influence and your power to change your marriage, your dating life, your world. And I'm going to teach you how to do that in the Satisfied Wife Club. Do me a favor. Share this video because you have no idea who you might be um, uh, helping. There might be a woman out there that you may share on your page that's dealing with a cheating husband. I want you to share this video because I don't want women of God to continue to think that they have to take this type of abuse. All right, y'all. I got to go. I'm, I'm hungry. I want to eat my salad. Got to get my cornbread out in a minute. I'm your girl, Mrs. Toy Banks the world's most satisfied wife. Go to www.satisfiedwifeclub if you want to experience satisfaction in your marriage. All right, this salad about to be good. See y'all later.